My name is Dr. Kelechiku Clement Onwaha. I'm a lecturer and a consultant orthopedic surgeon here at Bafok University Chin Hospital. My jobs here include carrying out surgeries, leading surgeries, training resident doctors, taking part in outpatient clinics, and conducting tutorials for students. We carry out a wide range of surgeries here, which include from major to intermediate and minor surgeries. Our major surgeries range from hip replacements, knee replacements, spine surgeries, fracture fixations, and much more. Good morning. Why did you come today? Um, I had a vaccine and a crisis of the left femoral head, and I was told I was going to be needing a surgery to correct that. So, what did you do for you? Uh, they performed a total hip replacement surgery on the left leg. Are you satisfied with what you've done? Yeah, very well. I'm even walking already and I'm happy. <laughs> Other procedures we do here include carrying out injections to the knee, to the spine, and also casting. We also do manipulation of deformities and correcting deformities of various kinds. Our staff are a whole wide range. Our anesthetist is a committed consultant anesthetist who helps in doing regional anesthesia for patients during surgeries. I'm Dr. Umtai Salami, a consultant in the Department of Anesthesia and Anesthesiology at the Bafok University. Specifically, talking about the orthopedics and trauma care in Bafok University Hospital, the limits of anesthesia that we use in our patients as we are very, very effective in how regional anesthetic and general anesthesia that we perform. But most of our patients, let's say we are going for a spinal surgery, most of our patients go for brain surgery, in baby, in what I call this usually is regional technique. Don't the days where patients have to sleep for all major surgeries, we can just anesthetize a particular area and the patient is awake and we discuss during, during surgeries. We have effective monitoring devices, including second by second blood pressure assessment, blood pressure measurement, and we also have pain measurement devices that we utilize during the anesthesia. Because obviously, our patients are usually admitted right inside the trauma complex. We have the high dependency units, we also have the post operative care that the patients get at least 24 to 48 hours, depending on their condition. We also have resident doctors who scrub into cases and help in the surgeries we do. My name is Dr. Olabife Johnson. My name is Dr. Kichikwe My name is Dr. Aladi Uluan Shimwaki a resident doctor in orthopedic unit at Bangkok University Teaching Hospital. The orthopedic unit is at the forefront of management of patients with various degrees of orthopedic conditions or pathologies. Over the last two years, we've carried out successful procedures such as tethy spine surgeries, over 28 hip replacement surgeries and also carried out about 30 knee replacement surgeries. In the last two years, we've come a long way and some of the ways we've done and achieved some things is with the aid of a device known as the SIAM. It's an intraoperative horoscopic device used in reducing and retaining fractures with great precision. Also in the last two years, we've also been able to conduct and carry out various surgeries which includes but not limited to spine surgeries, scoliosis, lizard fixation, so much more. All these have been made possible due to the multidisciplinary approach in the management of patients with various degrees of orthopedic pathologies. Here at Bangkok University Chin Hospital, our patient care is tailored as giving them the very best and also reducing the ongoing medical tourism, which in its own self has affected or, re or put so much pressure on our local currency. Um, I must say that this is um, one of the liveliest, one of the most industrials that have been. We offer very professional services. Um, we have treated people that came all the way from abroad. I myself have also been um, a patient of the unit, and my surgery was excellent. Back to my feet, working normally, no complications. Um, these are more part of the reasons why um, I would recommend your medical unit here for anyone who has any form of spine problem. I can assure you that your stay in Bangkok will be a wonderful and interesting experience. What procedure did you do in Bangkok? Do you remember the procedure that was offered? 
I think we did a surgery on tibia, the right leg. So what happened to you? Uh, then, you know, I was playing football, we were having a friendly match, and uh, I got uh, entangled with the goalkeeper. And I just heard a sound. Uh, my surgeon said, I think it's a pop sound, then, if I can recollect. I came for the s -ray. After the s -ray, we did a uh, the POP. The POP, yeah. Uh, after the POP, uh, we did the surgery. What do you think about your outcome? Mm, the outcome is good. We have surgeons who invite to help us in very difficult cases, both within and outside the country, they're flying to help us and assist us. We have dedicated nurses who are fast in all parts of orthopedic care, which include spine cases, fracture cases, hip replacements, and the like. And they're always on ground to help us whenever we need them. I've been the one your life, my name. The shift nurse will not be fine in charge of my Under my care, I have four operating suits with the orthopedic unit in Lucy. We had opportunity to perform several major cases like spine surgery, hip and knee replacement, androscopy, elixir of procedure, and many others. By the grace of God, all the procedure mentioned have been successful. And this wouldn't have been possible if not for the God fearing, qualified, competent, committed, and confident nurses, doctors, and other workers. My name is Peter Jansen. I'm a pillar of the treatments. My name is Ayeko Luakwese. Hi, my name is Evi Precious. In Bangkok University Teaching Hospital Orthopedic Theatre, we do a lot of cases ranging from trauma, general orthopedic surgery. We have three phases of our program, so preoperative phase, intraoperative phase, and postoperative phase. So what I do at the operative phase is familiarizing myself with the patient that is coming in for surgery. I perform my L2 assessment, inform the patient some of the expectations in the operating room. During our pre-operative phase, we try as much as possible to separate our patients. We ask questions and at the same time, we clear doubts, means that the patient will come and put misconceptions. So we try as much as possible to clear that doubt and make them stable. To have a good outcome. After after we pay a visit with the patients, I go back to the operating room to ensure adequate preparation for the patient and the procedure itself. I ensure the instruments um, needed for the surgery are available and they, are, they have been sterilized. Intraoperatively, patient safety is of high importance to us as nurses as well as other team members. We ensure that the patient needs are adequately met even while under anesthesia. Postoperatively, we nurse the patient in recovery room prior transfer back to the ward. We check the vital signs regularly once the patient is fully stable from effects of anesthesia. We also check observe the operation sites for bleeding. We ensure adequate pain management. We provide the patient with adequate warmth and make sure the patient is comfortable. We have a qualified prosthetic and otosis who helps us with our calf manipulations and also the official limbs for patients who have had amputations in the past. My name is Goodness Sajero. I am a prosthetist and orthotist. I work here in Bangkok University Teaching Hospital. We feed patients with different kinds of braces and supports patients that need mobility aids, uh, assistive devices, all forms of prosthesis. We try as much as possible to make that readily available. I also prescribe and recommend the preferred prosthesis for patients who must have an account amputation especially the lower leg prosthesis that's transfemoral or trans prosthesis for the patients. Okay, so here we have a full display of the braces and supports, the utilities, the mobility aids that we use in the orthopedic unit for patients. Uh, it ranges from the items that patients need according to the cases that we see often. For example, the commode, this is the commode chair. We use it for patients that had 
hip replacement so that uh, they would not sit exactly at 90 degrees or spot solo. The Ayoa brace for management of pot food in children have the walking sticks, pillow sprays, the braces and supports, and the air cast foot. Almost all forms of device, and we can also produce shoes. Most of the times, you can come across indigent patients who may not be able to afford this kind of um, club foot shoe. The university at the moment is making plans to set up a prosthetic center so that everything about artificial legs, artificial hands would be produced here in Bangkok University. We are very much optimistic because it is well underway and it is going to be done. Thank you for coming to the and aspect of our unit. Our physiotherapist is committed and it helps us rehabilitate our patients such that after surgery for example lower limb, patient gets up the next day and starts working thanks to our wonderful physiotherapist. My name is Fadi Ibiola Tuboso. I'm a physiotherapist in Babcock University Teaching Hospital. The orthopedic team is one of the units we work together with often. We've been managing together, and by God's grace, we've been, we've been having good results. Basically, we manage the surgical patients, majorly cervical decompression, lumbar decompression, and fusion, back pain patients, on house patients, low back pain patients, osteoarthritis patients, and uh, amongst others. During the pre op part of our responsibility is to give patients education and then carry out some exercises that will improve their functional mobility after the surgery. Then after the surgery, we see them on bed, starting with exercises on bed, strengthening exercises, strong stability exercises, to get them out of bed and ambulate them as to the, to the highest level of independence. And by God's grace, we are getting good results. Our patients are happy with our management and services here, and we are happy that we're able to deliver quality service to our patients. Initially, when, we, when I came here, I cannot walk. I went for this uh, so, I mean, uh, scan test, uh, MIR test. They discovered that my neck here, about seven of it, seven is here. But out of that seven, it is only three that is uh, functioning. Dr. Noah now said, I have to be operated upon. I came for the surgery. The surgery was a successful one. It, it was just at the back here. Eventually, today, I am a new man. We have medical students who are always on ground, assisting in surgeries, taking part in lectures, and learning actively about orthopedic care in Nigeria and the sub region. For the equipment, we have a whole wide range, ranging from the accident and emergency, where we resuscitate patients who have fractures. We have a mobile x-ray machine. With it, we can take x-rays of patients on the spot as they arrive. And when we make a diagnosis, we can wheel them in for surgeries as at when due. We also have other equipment in the accident and emergency for resuscitation of patients who come in with different kinds of injuries at the accident and emergency unit. We also have a fracture table that helps us reduce fractures adequately during our fracture fixations. All these are just a few of the wiring of things we have in the orthopedic in the Babcock University Teaching Hospital. Concerning accommodation, we have a very comfortable environment for our patients and they feel at home or we feed in and other things that make them very comfortable while on admission. Yes, so are you very happy with the services when that here at Babcock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very happy. So what do you tell other people? Mm -hmm. If they have this kind of an injury, I can refer them to Babcock University Teaching Hospital to come and do their own surgery here too. That's, that, that's good news. And I would want to say a big thank you to Dr. Onua and the whole of your orthopedic team. God bless you all. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. such that when you come into this place, you don't have to go far or go abroad for orthopedic care again. I'm thank the Almighty God for 
is an able mentor for helping us reach this far in orthopedic care in Bangkok University Teaching Hospital. I also want to thank the management of the university and the management of the teaching hospital for giving us what we've needed so far in terms of equipment and support to take care of our patients. Our aim is to reverse medical tourism as far as orthopedic care is concerned as we become a one-stop shop for all our patients. Once again, welcome to Bangkok University Hospital. You're welcome to our world always. Cheers.